Hey, g'day guys, Andrew Dwight here. I'm just going to start up SketchUp and Plusbeck for the first time and explain some really important uh, things about estimating and, and how uh, there can be massive indiscrepancies by the way you estimate if you're using line estimation software, which essentially means software that you estimate from the top down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly draw uh, a wall, a typical wall, uh, and I'm going to demonstrate what this means. So to make it really easy in calculations, I'm going to make the wall three meters high. If you're using Imperial, by all means, write in uh, your footage, 10 foot or whatever it is. I'm going to make this wall three meters long by three meters high. And I'm going to explain a couple of things about the way that estimating software works. Plusbeck works on doing an estimate according to uh, the full bill of quantities that are demonstrated in the model. So if I click this button up here, it's going to create a whole heap of things called scenes. Now, these scenes allow us to look at things in plan view, in section, and so on. However, we're just talking about estimating. So the wall has structure and it has everything. And when you look at everything, it has an external lining, an internal lining, a top plate, a bottom plate, and the studs according to the spacing that I specify when I drew the wall. Now, traditional estimating software, what it does is it takes a measurement from the, the line of the wall when you're looking at it from top down and says, okay, the wall's three meters. And it also takes an estimate from the height, so length times breadth. So obviously, we're going to have nine square meters of cladding. We'll check that in a second. And if we looked at the structure, we would have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight studs and two top plates. So I should have uh, uh, 10 pieces of, of timber there at three meters long or lumber. Okay, if I did a test, an estimate here, first thing I'm just gonna quickly just tell it what the job is. I'm gonna call this, uh, uh, I'm Andrew, so I'm gonna put this in here. <clears throat> and you know, I could say traditional software. Um, uh, I'm gonna just call it traditional. Now, basically, if I went to all here and I associated a price with these, these products, I'll just quickly go through. I'm pretty sure I've already got prices in here. Uh, but essentially, everything that's inside of that wall, I have uh, insulation, I can set a price. Uh, termite barrier, which would be the lineal meters at the bottom of the plate. Lumber, what's the length, the, ten, the cost associated with that and the labor cost. Gibrock, which is my internal lining. Uh, and uh, my external cladding, that's probably a little bit under what it would be per square meter, and my breathable membrane, and my starter channel, which is basically what I'm starting it from. And I'm gonna do an estimate, and this estimate uh, will come out very similar to what it would if it was, say, done in Bluebeam or something. So I have three meters of uh, my termite barrier. I have eight studs at 2.91, because I actually deducted the top and bottom plate from it. Okay, and I have two top plates at three meters long. And you can see that I have a total price down the bottom here of uh, supply and fit uh, is $1,125 for that one wall. Okay. <clears throat> now, where I find the traditional software uh, that estimates by line and, and by square meter by length times height is uh, that <clears throat> when you come to a wall that is actually uh, a gable wall or a, a, a raking wall, it doesn't allow for the extra lengths, well, not that I'm aware of, not when I was using it. So I'm gonna say, let's make the next wall a gable wall, we'll make it three meters high to the, and we'll then add a 45 degree pitch on top of it. Oops. 45 degree pitch and go submit, and draw this wall three meters long as well. Okay. Right, so the traditional software would still say, well, it is a three meter high wall, and when you looked at it in plan view, it would actually, look like it's three meters high. And I understand that some companies, uh, when they do it, they say, well, the total overall height of the wall now is from here to here, right? So, and I'll draw a wall that's 4,500 high. So we can compare the accuracy values of the softwares. And this, remember, this is one wall. We're not talking about a whole house, which could have 20 walls and five of them gables. Okay, so I'm gonna draw another wall, which is gonna be 4,500 high. There's not going to be a gable, 4,500, and go submit. And we still haven't even worked on Windows yet, so 
uh, three meters. Okay, and so now we would have a wall that is 4,500 high by three meters wide. Right. Okay, so let's see what the prices would have come out without putting a window in here, just on the wall. I'm going to hide these two. I'm just using a shortcut. Hide. So this would be traditionally how line drawing software works. It's, okay, and I'm going to do my takeoff. And well, it's the same as I had before, 11.25.48. Okay, I'm going to go and unhide. And I'm going to hide these two walls because this is how Pluspec would do it. And I'm going to take it off. And I have $1,343. So we can see that there is a discrepancy of $200 just in one wall. Uh, okay, and I'm going to control Z that and I'm going to go hide these two walls and I'm going to do a takeoff here. <clears throat> right, and I have $1,671. That's a whopping difference in price. It's the square meters of the cladding, the lineal meters of the, of the lumber, and or lineal feet, depending on whether you're using metric or imperial. And that's a massive price difference. So let's look at the price difference in this software. 11.25, and if I just assume my margin was going to be uh, the percentage difference, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to add 50% on top of this. I get 16.88. Pretty close. So it's 50% difference in one wall. We're talking in dollars, in margin. Imagine if you could put 50% cents mar percent margin on every job. Well, just the software allows you to do that. However, I'm down to here, 13.43. So what would that be? It'd probably around about 20%, I guess. Uh, 13, so yeah, around about 20%, maybe 18 or 19%. So in dollar figures, which is what we care about, we don't care how many lineal meters of length are in the job, we just care how much the cost is going to be and how much we're going to charge for it to make sure we're not under. So there's a substantial difference there in, in those costs. Now what happens when we put a window in, and this will start to clarify in a second. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put in a window. Add window, and I'm going to make a window here, say and I'll make it uh, 1200 wide or three foot. Okay, I'm gonna to go to here, I'm gonna add in a window, make them all exactly the same size windows. Oops, I'm gonna control Z that because I didn't write in the width. Add window, I'll make it 1200 wide. Just so it's fair for everyone. Add window, <clears throat> excuse me, 400, three foot. Okay, so we still have, we now have the exact same size windows in, in all of these walls. Now, the best thing is we don't have to go and calculate all of our windows and deduct them from our walls. We're getting exact according to each wall. So I'm going to hide these two again here now. Hide, do my takeoff. And now I have $952 because they deducted the amount of cladding um, and the amount of timber work that was required behind them. I'll just quickly show you that. I'll just control Z it and show you what actually happened. So it deducted the amount of cladding and it deducted the extra studs that are available there. And it did a calculation based on actuals. This one here, uh, it added in the extra studs that were required for the gable. And depending on where these windows are placed, it could be an extra stud or not. And it's something that you really cannot calculate in um, line drawing software. So what, let's have a look at what that actually means. Maybe put it back into perspective. We're looking at three walls here, okay? They all look exactly the same from the top, and this is how traditional software works. You trace over a plan, and you go, okay, well, I can't see that there's any difference in this wall. <clears throat> and if I go back to my estimate, I'm going to write the price in here. Uh, the first one... Uh, 20% off there. Okay, $1,125. For this one here, let's get rid of that meters. Uh, $1,125. Okay, go back to my estimate again. <clears throat> the next one is $1,343. Dimension them. Mm -hmm. 
bit hard to mention this one as well. There's a huge difference in this. Okay, $1,325, I think I said. Now we can see in these views why there's a difference in price, but it's very difficult. And the last one was $1,671. Okay, we'll go back to our floor plan view. Right, they all look like exactly the same wall. However, there's 60% dearer this wall than what it would have been if it was this wall. Now this is the exact price. This is the price according to the lineal meters of stud. Now let's have a look at that structure. This is the length of every single stud as they're cut. So there's a big time saving. We deducted the top plate, we deducted the bottom plate, and we can cut those studs. So not only did we save time with figuring out the lengths of the studs, we also saved a lot of money uh, and making sure that our estimate was close. Now we would add our margin on top of this and we'd feel more comfortable and obviously we always add for contingency in a job, you would add your margin on top, but at least you know what the cost is. Whereas here, cost is too high, you're probably not gonna get the job because you're 60% higher than here in margin. <clears throat> this one here, if you get the job, you're gonna lose money. However, this one here, you are sure of what you're gonna get and accuracy is the most important thing in estimating okay so we spend a lot of time getting this right we are designing software that works the way we build and accuracy is the key so i hope it helps out guys um give out give plus back a bit of a checkout and uh and compare it with one of your existing softwares I'd like to hear your thoughts cheers